hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be Bible journaling in Proverbs 23. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Such encouragement. And since we're still in spring right now, I thought I'd look at the tulip tutorial in my book. I show you in the book how to do just three petals to make some watercolor tulips, but I wanted to show you how to do them in pencil as well. And in the workbook, there's these line drawings that you can color and the line drawings have the tulips and the petals and the keys. And I did the rest of the coloring in colored pencil, making the sections that overlap into almost stained glass looking kind of things. Drew an extra tulip myself and then on another page, there's these other tulips that you, two of them are drawn and then you can fill out the rest of the garden by practicing your tulips. And I'm gonna be doing these in pencil, but I'm gonna do two tulips on the page. And so I'm taking my just regular old pencil and making three ovals, just like in that tutorial in the workbook and creating them so they overlap. Now the left one and the right one, if you're gonna do a real graphic one, you want the two to not overlap in the very center. Just have them overlap that middle petal. And you'll see what I mean as I get through the coloring. The stems come at the same angle. So whatever angle the, the tulip is tilted at, then you want the, the stem to kind of follow that same line. I'm going to do another tulip off to the right hand side and tilt it the other direction so that I'll have a little interesting crisscross in the stems that I'm drawing. And I want the tulip on the, the right hand side to look like it's behind, so I'm going to draw it behind the stem and then let it kind of go down, like I said, crisscrossing those stems and then just making some big leaves. Tulip leaves are really simple shapes to make. Don't sweat about trying to worry if they're looking like tulip petals or not because when you make the tulips themselves, everybody's gonna read whatever kind of petals you draw as tulip petals. And I'm gonna take some color pencils to color them in. It's not a hard process to go through to color them. And I'm just gonna do some quick speed coloring and talk through some tips that I have for you. And on this one, I'm taking a different approach than I'll do on the second one. So this one I've colored yellow lightly across the full tulip. And then I'm gonna go around the right hand petal with some orange and the left hand petal with some pink. Doing the pink over top of the orange is gonna make it not quite pink. It'll make it more of a, a pinky orange, but it'll be a different color than the tulip petal on the right. So then I have, I'm faced with what to do with those center sections. And when you have two colors that overlap each other, you can change colors entirely, or you can make something in the analogous color frame, which is what I like to do is, is kind of take something from the color wheel and choose colors that are all right next to each other. So reds, yellows, oranges, they're all in the same analogous color group. And if you miss the colorways video that I did, whoa, four or five videos ago, maybe, maybe less than that, then um, you'll understand what I mean about analogous colors because that kind of goes through some of the color wheel stuff. And so I'm gonna do all oranges, yellows, and reds here. And I'm taking a darker color to go around the outside edge of each one of the petals and let it get lighter as it gets toward the center and that gives it a little bit of dimension. And I'm not worried about light source dimension. So for those of you who follow my other channel and all the art crazy stuff, this is just giving it some shading to create some beautiful depth on it. Not really stressing out about where the sun is coming from or anything. This other one I'm gonna make with pinks and purples. And instead of coloring the whole thing with that first color, I can just go over each color, each petal on its own, little by little, and start building up that color. The color where it crisscrosses, I can just press harder with the same pencil in order to get a darker shape in there. I don't have to go to another pencil. And you can choose to do that, or if you have a darker pink or whatever color you choose to make your tulips, you can do that too. So there's lots of different ways that you can work with these tulips. You can also, after you get them all done, add some heavy black outlines around them, make them look a little more stained glass than this if you want. I love them without the outlines. Uh, the pencil outlines almost disappear. I can hardly see them when I look at the page itself. So it just looks like they're these beautiful shapes 
Uh, you could make all kinds of things with tulips this way. You could get some tissue paper and cut out ovals and decoupage them or something onto a piece of artwork and make some beautiful artwork out of tulips like this with these really simple oval shapes. And for those of you who like to glue things in your Bible, I don't do that, but I know that there's people who glue napkins in. You could cut out ovals and make tulips in your Bible. And if you do that, please do share in the Facebook group because I'd be curious to see what that looks like having like really soft tissue paper. And I have no idea if you can glue that in, but I'm assuming if people do that somehow with napkins, then you must be able to do that with tissue paper too. So I'll throw that suggestion out there as well. And you can make your tulips whatever size you want as well. They, this particular verse has a wide column on it. If you have a verse, if you're using a, a Bible page that only has the two inch column, it's going to be a little harder to fit two tulips in there, or you might have to make them smaller. But you can also do tulips across the whole page, which I'll show you in a minute, that I did with some, uh, some watercolor tulips. So I'm adding a little bit of a darker blue-green to my leaves down at the bottom to add a little bit of shading so that it makes those stems pop in front of that leaf in the background. And then just adding a little bit of shading onto the leaf over here on the left going to highlight my verse with a little bit of yellow because that's my favorite color. And then I just decided to write Hope Lives right here on my page. You know, nothing like earth shattering here, but hope does live. And every time I flip by this page and I see these beautiful happy tulips, I'm going to remember to continue to have hope because my hope will not be cut off. Now, this is the giant tulips. Uh, Shout to God with cries of joy, which I thought was a, a beautiful way to make giant tulips on the page in the same kind of way as these others. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends. And I will see you guys again next week with another video. Have a wonderful week and I hope to see you in the Facebook group too. Links in the doobly-doo. Bye-bye.